Here's she. Now, here's what we're talking about right here. We just had to retrieve it. This is um, um, what they call an interlinear, an interlinear um, New Testament. And it has the Alpha and the Omega right here, the Alpha and the Omega. And it's by uh, J.P. Uh, Green Senior Edition, right? So this is an interlinear. So in order to get a better idea, we're going to Timothy right here, right? Timothy right here, as you can see, it has the Greek. It has the, the Greek and the English. And the Greek and the English. Right, so let's get to where we were. It was in chapter 3, right? Chapter 3, and here we have um, the area. Faithful is the word. If anyone, if anyone overseership aspires to, it says a good work, a good work he desires, it behooves then, it says, the overseer without reproach to be, right? You see, to be right here, to be, it says, of one. See if you can get a, a, a tight shot of that, of one. Now, I don't know how well you can read Greek, but that of one right there basically says, um, meus, meus right there, that word right there, meus. It says meus. Mias, um, Ganiacos, I think Ganiacos, Mias, Mias Gunaiacos, Mias Gunaiacos, you know what I'm saying? Mias Gunaiacos. So here in this, it, it uses Mias. Because remember, we're now between the 33, I think 1991, and the 1520, which is saying something, something slightly a little bit a little bit different in the idea first, which now lends um, very much more support to what Crown and Christ on this seemingly controversial um, issue of so-called um, what it touches it touches to that on um, polygamy, this controversial issue. But we had to actually go here into our interlinear into the interlinear um, Greek. To really see that it's a little different than the haste, than the haste word, where they say the 1520. So there's they say there's different uh, Greek uh, versions of it. You understand? There's different Greek versions of it. The Septuagint and there's other the Koine Greek, and then you have Classical Greek, so forth and so on. But whenever a word comes into controversy, we may have to do such diligence to look it up for ourselves. Now we still have the issue of what is a bishop, what role does a bishop really serve? Do we have any examples of, of a bishop? Even for us today, you understand, do we have this example? We actually state um, and are affirm that His Imperial Majesty for us is Rastafari. He is our overseer and that bishop Sense. Our book is that overseer because we have a perfect, a spiritual, and a good example of such an overseer in our book and in his imperial majesty in that sense. You understand know, of what an overseer is supposed to um, fulfill for us because he is our shepherd or the shepherd, the defender of the faith. But still, as far as to further define bishop, what is bishop really stating? In fact, when we go back, actually, to this study here that we were on, to this this particular study where we touched on um, um, uh, Abba Petros, right? Abba Petros and um, Abuna, a drawing of Abuna Salama. Let's get the verse right here. Let's bring up the verse right here. Um, do you remember when we were when we was reading over it? Um, where when it said um, it says manem et isa kaposenet netin manem 
at peace a composer that tend to be felig melkama sera yemenya yemilo akal yatamena no and now the translation says that this is a true saying if a man desires the office of a bishop he desires a good work now when it says the office of a bishop it's been translated before, as we said, a piece of Kaposa Netin as meaning bishop's prick. The bishop's prick, or, the, or, the, or to, say, to say like the staff, that shepherd's rod, if one desires that shepherd's rod. Now, we have a very, very old motif now that we need to understand in this proper context, his proper historical and moreover the cultural context. So when Crown Christ, now we're going to the to the next um, to the next verse down here, verse two. You understand where in verse two is basically um, let's highlight this part. Let's highlight this whole this whole hareg. This is a hareg here, right here. This is a hareg. This is a a a, a, a verse, uh, not not a verse, uh, a phrase, a phrase within the verse, because you have to remember that. A sentence is made up of, of course, words. The words form themselves, or the letters form, the letters and the sounds form themselves into words. And the words, right, form themselves into certain ideas. And then these words, working with other words, form themselves into phrases. You understand? And these phrases now are the, are the component parts of sentences. Now, when we see right here where it says, yeah, andit, Ya andit, ya andita mist bal. It says of one, and that one is similar to the to the haste of the Greek, or even in the sense of the mia. That means first. That's a feminine form of first. Ya andit, ya andit mist bal. Baal is the ancient, we can say, Shemitic, and, and even in certain Afro-Semitic senses is the word for husband. Now, we know that there's another tradition that comes off of the Baal, but it's related to the same etymological idea that we need to understand. So it's not hating a word, but understanding the context, the context of the word. So this sentence here would be translated as husband of one wife. One can say husband of first could be implied, but Bamarinya in the Amharic, instead of Andit, which which is this word, this first word right here, instead of Andit, it will be an denya, denya yitu could be one way of saying it, but still the sense can be understood in it. Now it's, it appears from the direct context of this that is saying that a bishop or a shepherd for a, a church or a religious community should be blameless, first of all, right? That the shepherd, the overseer, basically a piece of os means the one who oversees. And we have that word, we have that word right here. We have the word um, um, a piece, a piece a piece of os that an overseer, you understand, or a bishop then should be blameless, blameless. And dia lihona yikabawal yamaya nekef, you understand, he should be blameless. You know, it's like beyond uh, reproach, you understand, unreproachable. It says the husband of one wife, you understand, the husband, in other words, having a certain, a certain wife or a certain female companion. And this is all for the, to, to, to utilize uh, ancient Egyptian idea that's also found in the Bible, but many probably might be more familiar with the abstractionalism of it, a ma'at. This provides ma'at. You understand, by this a piece of corpus being ya andit, being ya andit mist bal, being ya andit mist bal. Then it says he should be uh, vigilant, vigilant, 
you understand, or Lekenya, to say even um, uh, measured, measured or correct. And see, in this word right here, Lekenya, this part also comes into the name of Minyalik. Just to put this down here for the deck of Mezamorit tonight, they can look into this a little bit more. The Lika, Lika, Men, Min Yilik, Min Yilikenya, Min Yilikenya. How vigilant or how sober or how serious, how measured this one is. It says sober, sober of good behavior. It says, Arasun, his head or his self, Arasun, which means his head or his self, Yemi, Yemi Geza, Yemi Geza. And there was one who rules himself or one who rules his, his head. And then it's translated here in King James um, to be of good, um, in a sense, of good behavior or it could be, in a sense, blended with the general idea. It's almost as though a, a word is missing here or a certain idea has been has been um conjoined in the English. It says in the Migebal, in the Migebal Yami Sera. Now this part right here, let's get our uh clicker right here. In the in the Migebal, let's bring it down. In the Migebal Yami Sera. In other words, that which is proper, that which is right. You understand? In the Migabal, Yami Sera, that he works or does that which is right. Right? Over here we have, um, it says, uh, given, to, uh, given to hospitality, apt to teach. But here we go on for some other ideas. It says, in Gadot he receives the strangers, the foreigners, the guests, in Gadot. In Gadot, he is. He is receptive to 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 guests to say implies strangers. One can even say at another level angels on, on, on certain Christianity um puts that idea into effect. It says Le Mastamar Yemibeka. Le Mastamar Yemibeka and to teach Le Mastamar to teach Yemibeka. Yemibeka. You understand? And um one who is enough to say that he is able to, he has enough understanding, you understand, to basically teach. Now, this idea doesn't end there from them hard. You can see that it has the, um, it has the Ethiopic uh, comma, as it were, you understand, which is another level of teaching that we like to get on, but it has a comma there as it has a semicolon here in the English. There's a semicolon right here in the English, and that means it goes on to verse um, to verse three, and then it doesn't even end at verse three. So now all of these are the qualifications, are the qualifications for a bishop, and doesn't even end at verse four. As you can see, it goes on from verse four, and then it continues as we go on to verse five, and it ends off in verse 5 for question and is pointing out very detailed qualifications that anyone who is supposed to oversee a Christian community or a church is supposed to have these qualifications and the title is bishop which means overseer and it's taken in the male sense and this is also very important there are I wouldn't say certain gender only um, um, there's not just gender only uh, jobs or, or, or tasks, but some gender specific. You know what I'm saying? If a man know not how to rule his own house, how shall he take care of the church of God? This is very interesting. Now, it doesn't mean that. Now, what happens if, if a man is trying to rule his house, you understand, in the name and in the spirit of, of God and his word, and he has inhabitants? And, and, and members of that household, as Christos even says, that a man's enemies will become those of his own household. What does he do? You understand? And that is a very good question, an apt question. But here it says, So gin, so gin, so gin, ye rasun bait in the miyas te dadr, in the miyas te dadr, 
ባያውቅ ባያውቅ so so gen ya rasun beita and ya satadader bayawuk ye egzi ab herin beita christian this is the the church this is the house of anointed ones or the house of christian the house of those with anointing the messiah messiahite in date in date how now ask this question here in date ye ta be ye ta be ka ta le in date ye ta be ka ta in date ye ta be ka ta in other words how shall he take care in other words how shall he take care and this is where it goes into the next verse speaking about that one should not be a novice because a novice still don't know how to even control their emotions you understand know spiritually speaking and they will get um puffed up and pride prideful even with a little bit of knowledge will get prideful so it is giving us all sort of basic instructions now there's something very important that i mean this subject matter of um of the episa of osenetin and bishop and 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 uh, one wife you understand or first wife is all very very interesting first thing we can say is crown christ give thanks give thanks a lot because we found out now by looking up what you have presented that when we get to this right here they usually have the haste now the 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 one that you pointed to was mia and the mia they say see right down here they say see also 3391 so what we had to do was as we mentioned before we had to go to we had to go to this right here we had to go to this right here uh we had to go to the um right and actually you know look it up in here and we get to find that in there basically it uh has mia as you said but then when we look in strongs strongs reference from 3391 which we're going on right here Excuse me and here we have Mia a regular feminine of 1520 this is the regular feminine of 1520 right one or first right one or first a certain plus agree you understand first one times or x the other you understand so this is this is like like another one another so the sense is is both correct that a bishop you understand would be the husband of a certain a specific of andit mist ba you understand when somebody says oh that's your bishop or oh, who's his wife he would have a certain wife someone in the community would be known to be his wife and one should be able to look at this bishops for a bishop especially not just a bible teacher not just a preacher but we're talking about a bishop You see we need to understand how important the role of a bishop. This is not a play play thing. A bishop. You understand? A bishop. A an overseer. Now we're going to touch on another another um appendix to this. This particular teaching right here because it's important to understand how these terminologies of bishop, episcop, os um and and um how these things that confuse you know saying like in certain churches there are bishops but the bishops are not married in certain churches there are bishops but the bishops are women you understand know and um that is not in proper keeping with this particular the job description cuz Christ yes was Christos our black lord and savior Jesus Christ above any and beyond all in the true sense was 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 and is but showed an example of being fair equal especially to the woman i have often said that yes was christus jesus christ is probably the first true feminist on the record if we would really understand what that really mean in the sense of um um equalizing according to god's standards and uplifting the role of woman so if we would study christ our black lord and savior especially the sisters and and, and this is why we present there's a book um Lydia's and Patience Sisters which is a whole other level 
and we'll try to bring that into the exhibit as well to, to kind of uh, prove and to vouchsafe what we mean by that. But we want to get into how a lot of these problems concerning the role of bishop, you understand, and what is a bishop and who is a bishop, so forth and so on, how a lot of these ideas um, got uh, mixed up and um, confused, you understand, confused over 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 time. And this is a new book that we're coming out with the Queen of Sheba and our only son, Minulik. Um, look forward to that. That should be coming um, online online uh, um, um, pretty soon, as well as Ethiopic um, Ethiopic uh, grammar. So uh, stay tuned. Um, more is to come, y'all willing.